kill me, your life is over. Monet is dead because of you. No one's coming for us, you know that, right? Every time y'all do some shit and leave me out. What's up, book lads, niggas? This your boy, Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking, but most importantly, make sure you share it with your glad friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power, Book Two Ghosts, and this one right here is titled, um, Ghosts in the Machine, the epic return of James St. Patrick. Now, this one right here is basically a video that I came up with that basically, to be honest with you, I know we've been talking about this for quite a while and um, a lot of people have asked me, do I think Ghost is coming back? And I told people it's possible, but it's also possible that they may not bring them back until uh, Book Four Forest. And uh, but I say if they do, you know what I'm saying, bring them back. If they don't bring them back, this um, this final episode coming out tomorrow, then they're going to at least give us a major hint or clue or something like that that he's still alive leaving us in you know leaving us in shock and then pissed off as well that we have to wait all the way till summer of next year to see what happened and you know to actually get to see ghosts in action but now you know after seeing some recent things, and I gotta, um, I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, Fair Play 2333, uh, his channel. I did see an, that he posted that it was an article on, um, on, uh, you know, Fat Joe. He has a show that's on Stars, and honestly, uh, and um, apparently, Amari Hartwood is going to be. A special guest on his um, show right after the episode that's coming out for Book Two Ghost. If you ask me, that's a dead giveaway that Ghost is gonna be coming back tomorrow night, people. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I can I'll, I'll say I'll raise it up to about I'll say it, it has at least a seventy percent chance. Now they could, you know, fool us again. Like they always do. But I think I think this is it, people. Have faith with me. I think this is it. Because think about this. That's kind of how they was doing with the uh, Power Confidential uh, thing when uh, during the final season. With uh, hosted by, what's that nigga name again? Uh, I forgot that little glad nigga name. But anyways, Terrence. Terrence. You know who I'm talking about. But you know, each time an episode has aired, they have power confidential that they'll talk about the episode. I kind of feel like they're gonna do the same thing with, you know, Amari Hawkwood. Because what are the odds of them having an ep you know, of Fat Joe having Amari Hawkwood on his show, on stars, you know what I'm saying, right after this episode? I'm almost, like I said, I'm almost certain that's probably the angle that they're doing. And they're probably going to tell him to break down, you know, what it was like to wait those type, those years. What was what was the reason why it took so long for him to come back, etc. You feel me? So, that's why I think all is going to be discussed. 
in that, in fact, Joe's show. And that's what got me to this conclusion. Now, I know I kind of went off a little bit on this one, but I just had to get that out. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. And I can tell y'all how I think he may come back. So, we start things off. As you know, you got Detective Don Uglad Carter. This is when him and Noma created the most ugliest alliance in the power of history. Where two hideous species decide they're going to come together to try to take down our power favorites. And um, with this new alliance, they decided that they were going to ambush none other than your boys, your boy Tariq St. Patrick and your girl Monet Tejada with the Uglad Russians. The Uglad Russians were delighted to do this because they already had a grudge against Monet. And then I guess they were just like, well, we don't mind taking out Tariq Little Glad too. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, we all know what happened that prevented that particular incident from going down. But that scene also led to this one here, which ultimately led to Monet giving her life to save her son, Kane. Right? So, with all of that aftermath going on, I, I the thing I say that the Tejadas are going to want, obviously, they're going to want revenge. They are going to absolutely go after Noma for what they have done, what she has done. And this is how I see this plan out. First, they're going to stage a meeting. And pretty much, you know, strategize on how they're going to go about it. Because let's be real. It's only three of them. I don't care how tough they think they are, how good of shooters they are. You're not about to take down Noma's whole army with just three people. So, obviously, you need allies and you need a plan. So, who is the person that always comes up with the best plan? That is obviously none other than Tariq St. Patrick. So in my opinion, I think they're going to include him. And more than likely, it's probably going to be Diana that's going to reach out to him because that's the only one that he kind of somewhat have a good relationship with now. And with that being said, I think Tariq's plan will end up being let's get her Noma's daughter involved. If I can flip the daughter, then, you know, then Noma's vulnerable. We can get her like that. You know, lead her out to a trap and execute her. That's what I think their plan is going to be. So, Tariq is going to probably call on you, tell her that, you know, it's important. They need to talk. And then some kind of way, or maybe he just may tell her all over the phone. Not exactly sure. But I believe he's absolutely absolutely going to reveal to Anya this episode that his mother is none other than the ugly murdering drug drug dealing queen pen that's been that's been doing bull crap they killed um her her husband's mother and killed her you know killed your father I believe Tariq may tell her all of that and that's where we're gonna get this scene here from so, this is when we're going to get this, probably this explosive um, argument between mother and daughter. And Anya is probably going to go at her and really let her have it. Tell her she's wicked, she's a witch, she's a devil, she ugly as hell, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think she's going to really tell her about herself right here in this thing. You see, she told her to get your hands to F off me. She ain't playing with ugly lad. But anyway... After that, she's going to go ahead and make her way to leave. And then she's going to obviously, you know, she's going to go ahead and meet up with Tariq. Right? That's what I think is going to go on. So, um, Tariq is going to pick her up. And then they're going to leave out. And that will be step one of their plan on, you know, dealing with Noma. Anyways, next, you also, I believe that's the reason why we're going to get this, um, you know, line from Brayden. 
he's going to say, no one is, is, is going to come after us. You know that, right? Because they now have her daughter. And you know, she's not going to play around when it comes to her daughter, Chu. Um, so, yeah, now Noma is going to be on the hunt because obviously she's looking for a daughter. She thinks she's in danger. And hey, I think she's actually pretty goddamn right. So, while Noma is distracted and looking for her daughter, you know what I'm saying, her guard is going to be down because it's going to be focused on the daughter, which Tariq has. And that's when they're going to get a major ambush going on that's going to be taking place. And I think that's where you get this little shootout scene from. You got all these little lad and the people of Noma. Then, of course, you got the you got Kane, Drew, Diana, followed by, damn, your name went a little dirt a couple of uh, videos ago because I knew your name. Oh, well, little dirt. <laughs> and they're going to come in and I think they're going to really do some damage here but they will ultimately not be able to take down Noma some kind of way she's going to escape and they're probably going to have way too strong of a resistance for them to actually be able to take them down which reminds me of right here you remember this thing last episode last episode um Tariq was talking with Davis, and he and um, Davis told Tariq to breathe, right? Breathe. And then Tariq responded, I'm breathing, Davis, but they are too. That The problem is they are too. And then he also said, I need an effing army, right? So, with that being said, is it possible that Davis McLean will see that the situation is going sour and it's getting really bad and they indeed need an army. I can see him being the one with the contacts to reach out to Tommy, right? He's gonna reach out, I think he's gonna reach out to Tommy some kind of way and to let him know that hey, your nephew really needs your help, it is getting bad and I think it or it could be something linked to Tasha. This could be after Tasha is taken out. Because I think Noma is gonna be on a rampage after she finds out that you know indeed that Tariq has Anya, she's gonna go after the person that he loves the most, which is of course none other than her mother, Tasha St. Patrick. So Ugly Ad Don Carter could end up giving her the information on how to find it. Keep in mind, they allies now. And it's possible, especially with um, Carter being released, because keep in mind, he did have some time where he's being released. But anyways, after that, that's when I think the army that will arrive, and that, uh, that army will consist of Tommy, Diamond, Jannard, and a couple other ugly ass niggas from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's gonna be an all out war going on here in New York. And I think even with though, this army that's taking place, that's coming down from Chicago, Noma's people might be a little bit too strong. Cause keep in mind, this B pockets are long. So, I think possibly they're going to be up given, maybe an upper hand is going to be given to her, and then that's when they have to ultimately call in the big dog, and there go the big dog, people. Ghost shows up like it ain't nothing and just saves the day. Now, obviously, this would be the way we would all love to see it happen. Is this going to be the way it happened? I'm not exactly sure, people, <laughs> but I can see it happening something like that, you know what I'm saying? Or, I do have another version of how Ghost could return, and guess what? Y'all gonna have to find out that on my next video, because pretty much that's all I got for y'all, as far as this particular video, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I definitely would love to hear what y'all think of this one up in those comments but be, definitely be tuned for you know the next part 
of Ghost Retired and how he will deal with the current enemies. But, you know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your glad friends. And until the next video, I'm out.